In this video, we will learn how to set basic power and motor related parameters and go through simple test operations with G100. In order to operate the motor efficiently with the inverter, it is necessary to enter in the input power, control method, and motor parameters correctly. The parameters related to the operation command can be set in the operation group DRV. Here, we will set it so that it can be operated with the keypad. To set operation command with terminal block or communication rather than a keypad, refer to the table and choose the appropriate setting. The parameters related to the frequency source can be set in the operation group FRQ. Here, we will set the frequency to be changed with the keypad. If you want to set the frequency with analog input voltage or current instead of the keypad, set it as V1 or I2 respectively. To enter the input power frequency and input voltage, the parameters are BA10 for the frequency and BA19 for input supply voltage. The parameters related to the motor are entered into the inverter based on the information indicated on the motor nameplate. If you look at the motor nameplate, you can find information such as motor capacity, rated voltage, rated current, and motor efficiency. Please set parameters based on motor nameplate information. Motor capacity can be set in DR14. Change DR14 first, and then enter the number of poles, slip, rated current, rated motor voltage from BA11 to 15 in order. Please note that if you change the order and set the motor capacity, DR14, later, the parameters BA11 to 15 will be initialized back to its default settings according to the changed capacity. Additionally, BA15 is the rated motor voltage and if you do not enter in the rated voltage of the motor in this parameter, the input voltage will be automatically calculated. The rated slip of the motor can be entered in BA12. The rated slip means the difference between the synchronous speed and the rated speed. When induction motor creates a rotating magnetic field, the rotor rotates along with the rotating magnetic field. At this time, the rotor rotates at a lower speed than the rotating magnetic field due to the resistance of the load, and the difference in speed is called slip. The slip is not indicated on the nameplate of the motor, so the difference must be calculated and entered. The rated slip in G100 can be obtained by the formula of the synchronous speed minus the rated speed, and the slip of this motor is 1800 RPM minus 1710 RPM, that is 90 RPM. Lastly, the no load current of BA14 should normally be set to about 30% of the rated current. The acceleration and deceleration time is defined as the time to reach the maximum frequency and the time it takes from max frequency back to zero, set by the inverter and can be set in ACC and DEC of the operation group. Next, we will set the frequency and acceleration and deceleration of the motor. The target frequency can be set on the initial screen of the driving group and here, we will set it to 60 Hz. 
Let's set the acceleration time to 10 seconds and deceleration time to 10 seconds. This means it will take 10 seconds for the motor to reach the maximum frequency of 60 Hz. If the acceleration and deceleration time is set too short, an inverter trip may occur. If the acceleration time is too short, it cannot overcome the load of the motor and an overcurrent trip may occur. If the deceleration time is too short, a large amount of regenerative energy is generated and an overvoltage trip may occur. To prevent this from happening, the acceleration and deceleration time setting should be set to an appropriate value for the load. So far, the basic parameter settings have been entered, and now we will start the motor. If you look at the trend waveform, keypad, and the motor, you can see that it takes 10 seconds to accelerate from 0 Hz to 60 Hz and 10 seconds to decelerate from 60 Hz to 0 Hz. Here, we learned about the basic setting of the G100 inverter and how to set the acceleration and deceleration. Thank you.